Okay, so we learned the alternating series test, that if you have a series whose signs alternate between positive and negative, or negative and positive, as long as they just switch each time, it doesn't matter which one they start with, and the limit of the terms is zero, and the terms are decreasing, or at least eventually decreasing in absolute value, right? Remember that these are the absolute values of the terms in the alternating series. Um, that if those two conditions are true, then your alternating series converges. So for instance, um, this alternating harmonic series will be convergent. to infinity of negative 1 to the n plus 1 times 1 over n. This is 1 minus a half plus a third minus a fourth plus a fifth and so on. So the absolute value of the nth term here is 1 over n. And this is a decreasing sequence that converges to 0. The sequence 1 over n is decreasing. That you know, one half is bigger than a third, is bigger than a fourth, is bigger than a fifth. So these terms are getting closer and closer to zero, just alternating sides, and it converges to zero. So by the alternating series test, the alternating harmonic series converges. Which is surprising, right? Because this looks like the harmonic series, but somehow by the fact that this changes sign between negative and positive, that means that a lot of stuff sort of cancels out. So even though the harmonic series diverges, the alternating um, harmonic series converges. And in fact, it converges to the natural log of 2, which is pretty cool.